Hey guys! Welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be about what we could see in the future of Monster Hunter Rise, specifically with the collaborations. You may remember that I mentioned this in my Sonic collaboration video, but at Tokyo Game Show Capcom revealed the Ghosts and Goblins collaboration for Rise, and also mentioned that it would be the last of the Capcom collaboration, however right afterwards they revealed the Sonic collaboration, which we got a few days ago. The big question now is if Rise will get any more collaborations going forward, or if this will be it until Sunbreak. To clarify, I'm not referring to event quests, because those are confirmed to keep being released until Sunbreak. The purpose of this video is to speculate on future collaborations Rise could get, when those could be announced, and general expectations and wishes. Looking at the roadmap of Rise before we got any collaborations, it was lined up so that we got one collab every month. We started off with the Capcom collaborations in June with the Stories 2 collaboration that brought Tsukino as a Palico layered armor. Next in July we had the Okami collaboration with Amaterasu, in August we got the Street Fighter collaboration with Akuma, in September we got the Mega Man collaboration with Rush, in October we got the last Capcom collaboration of Arthur from Ghosts and Goblins, and most recently in November we got the Sonic collaboration with the three new layered armors. Logically, if Rise were to get another collaboration, it would keep the trend of getting one every month, and we would get one this month in December. Based on the release schedule of the previous event quests, the collaboration quests seem be released at the last Thursday or Friday of that month, so not only is it safe to predict that the next collaboration will come in December, but we can also safely say that if there is one coming in December it would probably be released on December 30th or 31st. The question of when the hypothetical collaboration will be announced is the last question we will consider in this section, since speculating about the collaboration itself is the fun part. Looking again at when the other collaborations were announced, they normally happened in the middle to end of the month, so applying that here if it was a normal reveal we would probably hear something about it on the week of December 12th or December 19th. I specified if it was a normal reveal because Capcom has revealed collaborations early as part of a special event, like how they revealed the Arthur and Sonic collaboration at Tokyo Game Show on September 30th. Like Tokyo Game Show, December has its own special event, the Game Awards, which is being held on December 9th or this coming Thursday. The Game Awards have been getting a lot of attention in recent years, especially with exclusive reveals. And the Game Awards are not foreign to Monster Hunter, since last year Rise had a special trailer that revealed the flooded forest as a location in Rise as well as a few monsters like Somnicanth, Bishiton, Royal Ludroth, and Great Ragi. So at the Game Awards, I am definitely expecting some new Monster Hunter news there, like a new Sunbreak trailer with some more monster reveals and hopefully the next Monster Hunter Rise collaboration. So now that we have a time frame for when we can see a new collaboration, what could we get? Assuming we are getting a collaboration, the hardest part about speculating future collaborations is that we could literally get anything. The Monster Hunter team does a really good job at keeping us on our toes for collaborations, and I'm not making any exception for this collaboration. For all we know we could finally get that Godzilla collaboration that always gets talked about within the community. The easier part would be to rule out collaborations based on what we know, so since we are not getting any more Capcom collaborations it would be safe to say Capcom games are out. Looking at this through the lens of the Game Awards, the only other Capcom game nominated for awards is Resident Evil Village, and also seeing that a Resident Evil collaboration would be better suited for Sunbreak it makes sense to look over that title. Another thing we can rule out of Rise collaborations are Sony games, since we have seen with the Horizon Zero Dawn collaboration in Monster Hunter World and Iceborne that Sony really likes to keep its games on its own platform. This would rule out games like Horizon Forbidden West and Ratchet and Clank, which is unfortunate, because these both would be such cool collaborations to have. This last point is kind of a grey area, but Nintendo collaborations in Rise are very uncertain. On the one hand, games like Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, for Ultimate, 
and Generations Ultimate had tons of Nintendo collaborations, however all of those games were exclusive to Nintendo consoles, and Nintendo is known to be very reluctant to let their characters onto other non-Nintendo platforms. However, because the Steam version of Rise is releasing in a little more than a month, they could start to give us Nintendo platform exclusive collaborations. If they did, there are two series that are in the forefront, The Legend of Zelda and Metroid. These two series have already collaborated with Monster Hunter before, so that happening won't be completely out of the question. In Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, we got a Legend of Zelda collaboration that brought the classic green tunic as armor for the hunters, as well as the master sword as a sword and shield, and the hero's bow. In 4 Ultimate we also got the Metroid collaboration, that brought the Varia suit and Zero suit design as hunter armor, as well as the arm cannon light bow gun. Both of these collaborations were brought in Generations Ultimate, however with the addition of a Breath of the Wild collaboration, that brought the iconic Breath of the Wild look as hunter armor, in addition to having the ancient bow and a Korok Palico costume. Seeing the extensive history of collaborations with these series, we could potentially see them as a collaboration in Rise. It also helps that both of these series have a new version of the main character that would make for a very nice armor set in Rise. Nintendo recently released Metroid Dread, which features Samus with a new design that looks really cool, so we could see this armor as a full-body layered armor set. It could even have special mechanics like when you throw a kunai Samus fires her Omega Cannon, or even having it so that when Samus climbs up vines or on walls it activates her spider magnet. Again, looking at this as a Game Awards reveal, it does fit because Dread has been nominated for Game of the Year, so having a special Monster Hunter collaboration as part of the celebration of it potentially winning. Just like with Metroid, the Legend of Zelda series also has a new title on the way, the sequel to Breath of the Wild, that has been nominated for the most anticipated Game Award and seeing that it is also pretty likely for us to get a new trailer for the sequel, it would also fit timing-wise to get a collaboration in Rise for the new sequel. Since we don't know much about the game as of now, it's hard to say what the collaboration armor could be. In the trailer we got earlier this year we saw Link in a modified version of the iconic Breath of the Wild attire, so I think that would be the safest pick for a costume for hunters. We could also get a buddy costume in that collaboration, maybe another Korok Palico outfit, or even one of the new Bokoblins designed as a costume like the Bokoblin mask. Even though both series have some really good collaboration potential, we still could just not get any Nintendo collaboration in Rise or Sunbreak, because it's not exclusive. If that's the case, we could still see a collaboration from a different series. Like I mentioned at the start of the video, it is very possible that the Sonic collaboration we got could be the last collaboration Rise is getting until Sunbreak, but I am still definitely expecting some new Monster Hunter news at the Game Awards, most likely in the form of a new Sunbreak trailer. I think that if we do get a new Sunbreak trailer it will follow a similar pattern to the Rise trailer we saw at the Game Awards last year, so probably a new location or more footage of the Castle Ruins map we see in the first teaser. Looking again at the previous Rise trailer, we also saw quite a few new and returning monsters revealed. I don't think we will see any brand new monsters in this hypothetical trailer, mainly because before we were shown new monsters in the previous Rise trailer we got hints on the official Twitter page. Although we still have a few days before the Game Awards, so we could get new information sometime this week. Talking about returning monsters, Given the theme of the last teaser, we could see a continuation of that. If we do, then I think they will go really hard on reveals, and we could potentially see a monster on the level of Gormagala or Nergigant. I could only hope we get great heroes revealed in a continuation of this trailer. If I had to make a full prediction, I think we will see a new map this time, probably a beach or jungle map with monsters that fit thematically like Plesia or Kongalala. I think it's also a safe prediction to make, but if we do get a new Sunbreak trailer I think it will show gameplay, especially since we recently got a tweet talking about new movement options. As you can probably tell, I am very excited at the potential of new Sunbreak news, as well as potentially seeing a new Rise collaboration. 
No matter what happens, I think this year the Game Awards will still be a very special event, and I look forward to seeing the show. If you enjoyed this speculation, then please consider supporting my channel. This week I plan on being especially vigilant about any new information for Monster Hunter we may get, so depending on what happens, I may be making more videos this week. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.